Okay guys, so we're getting ready to install this. Uh, they call it a dry fit. It says not to use any anything on the gasket, but then it also says to use some RTV in these corners. But you only want to put it on the block. I'm also going to put some in here. Because even though they say that seals up, I don't really trust it. So I'm going to put some right stuff on the block in each of these corners. Front seal and rear seal. And then a little bit on the pan, I guess. I don't know how I'm going to pull that off. But uh, anyway, we're going to get at her. And the torque spec does come with this. Don't use the GM torque spec. It's too much. So I'm glad I, I waited and uh, for once read the instructions because I would have used the GM torque spec and it's a lot higher and probably would have wrecked this gasket. So use the, uh, use the Felpro spec. It comes with this little instruction sheet and it makes it pretty easy. So more later. So the other thing uh, I'd recommend, the other thing I'd recommend you do is you just go ahead and take these studs out and replace them with the uh, the bolts that come with the gasket. That's what I did. So those are the four corner studs that had uh, nut fasteners on them. So I took those out and I'm using the bolts that are supplied with the kit. I'm not going to use the old bolts because the kit specifies that you use their bolts because they're longer. So that's what I'm going to do. And uh, also I recommend like this stuff here. I'm not putting any of this stuff on until I get the, I'm going to put the pan on with the, with the studs supplied. And then once everything's been dried and fine for you know, a day or whatever, when I go to put these accessory clips on, then I'll uh, pull those bolts off and put those on. But. I think it's going to be too big of a pain in the ass to try to do that for now. I just want to get the thing on and make sure it's not leaking, so more later. Okay guys, I got this on. Um, first things first, this right stuff, I'm sure it's really terrific, but uh, I don't recommend trying to put it on using a caulking gun because there's just, as you can see, there's no bloody room to get it up on the block. So, unfortunately, what I ended up doing was I had to take the uh, take the right stuff and put it on the gasket in the corners because I, I really didn't have any other choice. So, that's the first uh, mistake you don't want to make. And the next thing is the snap ups. Um, the snap ups up here at the front are useless. They were great to put the gasket up, but then I had to take them off because the pan won't fit over them. And uh, you can see these braces here. I just did not want to take those off because this car is sitting up on ramps. I don't know if it'll flex. I don't know what it'll do. And I didn't want to take any chances. So I had to pull the snap ups off of the front and uh, kind of wrestle with the gasket and the pan at the same time. So that was fun and I did manage to get some of the right stuff around where that is even though they say it won't leak so I put some around there and on the pan so I know that's not going to leak so anyway that's it it's all torqued down remember your corner bolts torque different than your rest of your pan bolts I gave the torque spec or showed it to you earlier in the video and it comes with the gasket if you buy the felpro gasket just don't use the gm torque spec or you'll wreck the gasket and uh so the next thing that we're going to do is get the starter back on and uh get the oil filter on get this thing filled with oil and get going and see if she leaks and let's hope it doesn't so that's the end of the oil pan on to the next one